All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here today with a quick video to show you the parts of a motherboard and I'm gonna explain what plugs into where. We're going to start with the CPU socket, which is located in the center of this motherboard, and this is where the CPU is installed. Installing a CPU into this motherboard is relatively straightforward. I'm just making sure to line up the triangles that are printed on the motherboard near the socket and the CPU itself. And then it's just a matter of closing the door and the latch. This is the CMOS battery. This battery powers a chip in the motherboard that stores information, such as a computer's time and date, as well as some other settings found in the computer's BIOS. Next, I'm going to talk about the RAM slots or RAM sockets. Notice here on the board it says DDR4, so that's the type of RAM that this motherboard takes. And this board itself only has two spots for RAM. Other motherboards have four or more. Here I am demonstrating how to install the RAM modules. If you look carefully, you're going to see a little notch near the teeth in the RAM module. And this just prevents it from being installed the wrong way. Next, we're gonna focus our attention to the SATA ports on the motherboard. Notice that this board has four of those ports. And these are responsible for the transfer of data to and from a storage device, such as a HDD, SSD, or optical disk drive. Using a SATA cable, we can plug the hard drive or solid state drive directly into the motherboard, like I'm showing you here. Next, I'm going to show you what plugs go into the motherboard from the power supply unit. The power supply unit plugs into two different spots on the motherboard. This 24-pin connector here, and also this 4-pin connector here. So here I am demonstrating how to plug in the 24-pin power connector that powers the motherboard. Here's the 4-pin connector that powers the CPU, and then our hard drive also needs power, so we're going to plug this bad boy in right here. Now I'm going to point out the motherboard's PCIe slots. PCIe slots are used to connect expansion cards, such as a video card, a sound card, or a network adapter to a computer. As you can see, the PCIe slots come in different sizes. These smaller PCIe slots are used to connect cards such as Wi-Fi and Bluetooth adapters, while this larger slot is used to connect a GPU or video card, like the one I'm showing here. And here I am demonstrating how to install this GPU in the PCIe slot on the motherboard. When the motherboard is installed into the case, you're going to see all these ports protruding out the back of the case, and this is where you plug all your peripheral devices into. This motherboard has PS2 ports for older keyboards and mice. This one is a VGA port for older monitors. And here we have an HDMI port for a modern monitor. Then we have two USB 3.0 ports two USB 2.0 ports and an Ethernet port for wired internet, multiple ports for audio input and output, and on my video card there's a DVI port for older monitors as well as multiple HDMI and display ports for modern monitors. This is a display port used to output high definition video to a monitor. It may look similar to an HDMI port but it's not the same. So if we actually compare it to this HDMI port, you can see the differences. An HDMI cord will not plug into a display port and vice versa. If we take a look at the front panel of this tower, you're gonna to notice a couple buttons and a couple ports. This is our power on button, our reset button. We have two USB 3.0 ports, and then we have our audio input and output. If we look at the back side of this front panel, you can see that these buttons and ports have wires coming out of them. These connectors are plugged into the front panel headers found on the motherboard. They're used to control the power on and reset buttons 
LED indicators in other ports on your front panel. Thanks for watching this video and I hope that you guys have a better understanding of what plugs into where on the motherboard when you go to build your PC.